You gotta see the new Tarantula Collective. Alexa, turn on the bass now. Welcome to the Tarantula Collective. My name is Richard, and if you enjoy species-specific care and husbandry videos and all things tarantula related, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to turn on all notifications so you're alerted every time I upload a new video in the future. Today, I'm really excited because I'm gonna show you all my new setup for the tarantula room. I was having a lot of issues making videos with the old setup because I was essentially surrounded on all sides with glass enclosures. As this channel's been taken off and gaining more and more subscribers and the videos are getting more and more views, I decided it was time to kind of find a middle ground and build sort of like a YouTube studio that would also work really well for housing all my tarantulas and reptiles. So after a lot of planning and moving stuff around and kind of just changing everything down here in the basement of my house, I think I finally got it set up nice. The goal was to find a layout that would make it easy to shoot YouTube videos so I wouldn't have to set up and break down lights and all that stuff every time I needed to make a video. But I also wanted it to be ideal for taking care of my tarantulas and reptiles. I wanted everything easily accessible and set up nicely, but also so you guys could see it. I think I finally got it set up how I want it to be and there's some new things coming down the pipeline that I'll tell you about later and I kind of had to work those into this design as well. But let's check out the collection. Right, so I guess the best place to start is the beginning. So I'm gonna show you the uh, the little spiderling nursery that I've got set up here. Let's get this plastic out of the way. I use that to kind of keep some of the heat in because I've got heat pads on the top. And you can kind of see them up there that uh, kind of radiate heat down onto all these little guys. So I've got over here some scorpions and then a little bit more scorpions. And then this side is mainly all of my little spiderlings. Underneath that, we've got a couple terrestrial tarantulas. And over here, I've got a lot of my uh, juvenile arboreal tarantulas, and there's a couple fossorials in there. And in this corner, we've got some mantises, and then all the way across here, um, with the exception of a few semi-arboreals, these are all my arboreal tarantulas, juveniles, all the way up to adults. And then I keep that going all the way across the top here. Now here I have what's left of my juveniles. We've got some fossorials in there. We've got a lot of uh, semi-arboreals, mostly terrestrials though. Oop, there you can see the uh, Chilean red dwarf beauty hanging out back in there. Um, and then down here, I've got some more juveniles uh, and then a few fossorials, but mainly just juvenile tarantulas. And there is uh, some other tarantulas. <laughs> Now this is actually the enclosure for my Vingaroon that just had babies a couple of months ago. I checked on her uh, last week. She was still doing well, had the, the egg sac and everything. And we got a few more tarantulas, Acanthoscuria geniculata. Uh, then up here we've got fossorials, uh, some Pamphibetus, and another little fossorial guy there. And my Harpic Tiras, we got the Polcribes, Caffarina, Baviana. Oh, and this is actually my centipede. It's been coming out a lot lately. We'll have to do a video on that one soon. You can just barely see it back there, but that's my Salmopius Victori. Uh, let's see, we've also got a Postletheria Metallica. This is the Carabina Versicolor. And uh, that's the Violet Tree Spider in that one. I got the wrong label on it. And these are just pokies. Some Salmopius. Down here we've got a lot of my, uh, oh, looks like we got a molt, freshly molted Brachypelma amelia. That's exciting. I want to get that out of there. Hapalopus species columbia. And there's another Brachypelma homori. And down here I've got, this is a whole shelf of fossorials. These are all Chilobrachys, with the exception of one I think is uh, A. ezendami. And then down here, some more terrestrials. 
Now in this enclosure is actually a bioactive uh, that I have set up for my leopard gecko. I'll have to get some footage of it while it's on. Uh, this is my other leopard gecko. Oh, and it's actually out. You can take a little quick look at her. We really seem to be enjoying these leopard geckos, and uh, that is some videos I'll be doing on the other channel, the Exotic Pet Collective. Here I've got a, a trapdoor spider I got from Peter over at uh, Bugs and Cyberspace. This is my uh, enclosure for my milk snake, and that is my Texas trapdoor spider hanging out down there. Moving up, we got some more enclosures for terrestrial teas, Brachypelma vagans, uh, it's a Pamphibetus vespertinus. These are all the bioactive setups for my Theraphos, a Blondies, and Apophysis, as well as some uh, isopod colonies. And some more terrestrial tarantulas. In here, I've got some uh, Horde King Assassin bugs that are all hiding. of course the ever famous green bottle blue enclosure and in here I've got some white spotted assassin bugs of course they're all hiding because I got the lights on but they, they were out pretty much all day today and we've got some more uh, just different and juvenile enclosures that I've got you know some terrestrial teas in oh check it out the OBT is out and about such a gorgeous tarantula oh this one's kind of out there we go <laughs> That is for my uh, uh, Fonapelma calcodes. And in here we've got a freshly molted Vicularia Vicularia. And then we're just back to all of the different arboreal enclosures. Kind of coming all the way around here. Now this section I haven't actually shown in any of my videos yet. This is my wall of scorpions, or we'll just say rack of scorpions. <laughs> uh, but down here on the bottom, we've got a um, Oh, Asian, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, Asian forest scorpion. Uh, that in that enclosure is the Madagascar hissing scorpion, I believe. Uh, this over here is, you're probably familiar with this, is a communal that I have set up of um, air, or, uh, striped bark scorpions. And let's see, we've got an emperor, no, another Asian forest scorpion here. This is the enclosure that I did a video on that I set up. In here we've got a desert hairy scorpion. You can kind of see it sticking its tails out there. And I've also introduced some blue death feigning beetles in there. A few other desert beetles also sent from bugs in cyberspace. So I kind of got that at communal, but that'll be a video also on the exotic pet collective in the coming weeks. This is the uh, Florida bark scorpion communal. I showed you guys, uh, I think in last week's video. Uh, up here, I've got a tarantula collective enclosure with the, um, what is in there? A striped devil scorpion. This is the Arizona bark scorpion communal. And up in there, I actually have an Arizona bark scorpion in that enclosure that has babies. Uh, we might be able to see it if I don't disturb it too much. Oh man, she's so cool. Those are so cool. They looks like they molted into second instar, so they should be crawling off her back any day now. Now this up here is my emperor scorpion, and I'll be doing a rehouse on that very soon. Oh, and I could forget this guy. This one is just too cool. This is the uh, Colombian, or was it Cuban? Uh, I think it was Colombian uh, blue tr blue scorpion. Um, that, that might be it. Caribbean blue scorpion. That's what it's called. <laughs> now it's late at night, so all of the uh, you know normal lamps and stuff are off. But this is my bioactive enclosure for my day gecko. Who's kind of wondering what the heck I'm doing shining lights down here this light at night. <laughs> it's kind of like, leave me alone. Uh, down here, I've got a bioactive for my Theraphosa Sturmy. Uh, looks like it's hanging out back down in there. Uh, we've got a few more tarantulas down in these enclosures. This is my Lossiodora periabana, which I was pretty... I, I, Sex the molt like two years ago I was convinced it was a female, but it looks like it just molted out male. But we'll check on that. I'll give it a few more days. Here we've got the uh, M. Balfouri communal. They're all running and hiding, but they're doing really well. And of course the old Mexican fire leg. And down here is going to be a frequent star in the exotic pet collective. Uh, this is Nola, the uh, Eastern King Snake. You guys have seen a few videos on her. Uh, right above her, we've got the um, California King Snake. 
These are all of my different millipede colonies. Uh, I think one of them is an isopod colony, but mostly just millipedes. And then up here, this is another bioactive enclosure. Um, this is the uh, ball python, which you've probably seen in a few feeding videos, hanging back there sleeping. And this I am really excited about. This is a uh, Zoomed Paludarium. It's got all kinds of different goodies in there. And I'm gonna be doing a video on this channel very soon about this, uh, this whole setup. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm putting in it yet, but it's gonna be a tarantula and it's gonna be awesome. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I build the entire thing. So if you wanna see that, uh, make sure you stay tuned because it'll be coming out very soon. But yeah, this is the uh, this is the entire setup, and over here is kind of where the mess is. Got the computer desk over here, all kinds of different paneling on the wall, the lights, uh, everything's just all kind of set up right here. Well, that's pretty much how I have everything laid out right now. And all these sound panels that I have on the wall and the ceiling uh, are serving two purposes. One, they're gonna help a lot with the acoustics in this room while making YouTube videos. But secondly, I'm gonna be launching a podcast on my second channel, The Exotic Pet Collective. And I'll be bringing people down here in the basement to do interviews and have discussions. So I really needed to set up a space where I could easily do the podcast as well as do live streams and some of the other things I've been dabbling in. So if you're interested in checking out those podcasts once they become available and you wanna see different videos that I'm making on my snakes and geckos and true spiders, uh, scorpions, pretty much everything else down here in the collective. Make sure you're subscribed to the Exotic Pet Collective. I'll leave it linked down below in the description. I'll also uh, leave a little icon thing for it at the end of this video. And I'm really curious as to what you think of this new setup. So leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. Liked it, hated it, loved it, whatever. If you want an in-depth look of all the tarantulas in my collection in the old setup, then check out this video right here. And if you just want to catch up on the past episodes of Tarantula Tuesday, check out this video right here. As always, it's awesome having you here. I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collective merchandise, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>